This is an updated version of a presentation first given at our Innovation in Displays workshop on the 23rd of March 2022. Good morning, I'm Tim Wood, I'm the Technical Director at M2M Tech. This will be a short presentation on who we are, off-grid displays, our groundbreaking modular shelter display, TFT flag display, a first to market, smart media using BODs and other data sources, traffic camera integration, maximizing TFT templates, accessibility improvements using TFT display technology, Genesis, our display centric content management solution, media control that complements RTI information, KPI and performance and making it count, how to get in touch. Um, I hope that these slides and this presentation will show you some of the problems we've found and overcome. M2M Tech is a specialist technology company based in Oxfordshire. We pride ourselves on our ability to understand problems and rapidly develop solutions to solve them. After winning our first real-time contract, we have predominantly concentrated our efforts in the real-time information sector, where we've been able to achieve an impressive 99.992% uptime statistic. This has been achieved using a combination of our developed software and hardware products using a third party data feed such as Siri. More recently, we've been engaged in developing solutions in AMPR, AI and automated bollard control. We are certain that our developments in AMPR and bus detection AI could be used to great effect in traffic signal priority and would welcome the opportunity to collaborate with anyone that would like to explore this further. Our first display product, Eclipse. Eclipse was originally commissioned to deliver real-time information around hospital estates in Oxfordshire, where mains power was proving to be impossible to achieve. So why use solar? Well, for us, the only real problem we could see with using solar in the UK was the limited one watt hour of energy we can recover on a grey winter day, typically between late November and early March. With this managed, it's a very good known power source. Um, and is repeatable every day. By taking a new approach to showing real-time data with later departures, we could more efficiently show departure information that actually looks very natural the first time that you see it. This innovation, combined with the ability to quickly collect real-time data from our third-party data feed, meant that we could operate a very quick on-demand cycle where the display would start up from an off-state in under 60 seconds. One key benefit to this approach is that the display draws no power most of the time, particularly useful at night when there's not many buses running. With our worst case power problem known and by operating a short 24 hour energy recovery cycle, we found that we did not need a lot of batteries and with just a single 120 watt solar panel, we could easily recover the amount of energy we used during each 24 hour period. After the 1st of March, you can generally operate most solar charge products 24 seven but by maintaining the on-demand use model, Eclipse is now in its seventh year of real-world operation on the same AGM lead acid battery. Based on the known product use over this time period, we are confident Eclipse is barely a third of the way through its anticipated product life. Battery technology. Why lead acid? Well, simply it's a proven technology. At the time in 2015 and still today, lead acid is more than 98% recyclable so remains a good environmental choice. You commonly find lead acid batteries in mobile VMS displays, temporary traffic lights, and nearly all combustion engine vehicles currently on the road. When you consider that recycled lead ingots is used to make uh, lead acid batteries, then obviously we remove any need for mining it out of the ground. Solar panel position and orientation was Another important point that we felt was often overlooked in our particular use case. With the designed 14 degree of panel angle, we've been able to maximize the energy recovery at the most difficult of times where the winter sun remains relatively low on the horizon. Added benefits of this panel angle include self-cleaning when it rains and the panel is not going to collect snow or other debris. Shelter mounted displays. Having had personal experience with trying to install heavy displays in narrow roof shelters, 
we decided that we wanted to make a display product that would make the whole installation process much easier and at the same time offer maintenance and upgrade options never seen before. Our three-piece modular design concept consists of a glanded top section that mounts to the shelter, an electronic chassis that can be completely removed from the display top section and a display lower case that fixes with just two security screws from below. The key benefits of this design are that the complete electronic swap out can happen in a single visit without the need for a new electrical test or revisit. The removed electronics panel can be returned to M2M Tech for warranty repair or upgrade and as you're not returning the whole display this saves um, carbon costs with regards to holding unnecessary weight around the country. The low display case acts as a secure tool caddy and delivers uncompromised access to the electronics. Bottom fixings remove issues where side fixings are often obstructed by narrow roof shelters. Continuing on from the success of our shelter display product, we set about the development of what we believe is the first, if not only, TFT flag display. With careful consideration of peak brightness at 1600 nits, we were able to identify a suitable TFT panel that could deliver a similar form factor to that of LED matrix flag displays, um, while delivering improvements in power consumption. It was important to keep the width of the display as narrow as possible, so that it would provide benefits on narrow footways and rural locations where displays can get hit by large passing vehicles mounting the curb. By using our already proven modular design concept, this TFT flag display continues to deliver the same benefits of our shelter mounted displays when it comes to installation and maintenance, albeit in a flag form factor. With the use of anti-reflective coatings and by developing the product with a minimum 5 degree downward angle, we are able to overcome the reflection issues that have the potential to make TFT displays harder to read in high bright outdoor environments. Using a simple gallows arm design, we're able to develop a flag display that can be installed either left or right handed without any modification to the display. This was an important feature for us as we've seen a number of schemes where the developer has not always installed the infrastructure in the, in the agreed locations. Smart Media Digital Flag Graphics Having experienced lots of timetable changes during the pandemic, it was clearly impossible to keep up with replacement vinyl graphics. To overcome this issue, we developed a smart media element that could take data from BODs and other sources based on the ATCO information and then populate digital graphic versions of route number grids that would show as a sequence smart media item on the display. This innovation can reduce the ongoing costs of maintaining vinyl graphics whilst making it much easier to coordinate sudden service changes across multiple display locations whilst delivering accurate data at all times. Further enhancing investment opportunity with our flag display technology. Having previously been asked to install HD cameras in our displays to act as a CCTV anti-vandal deterrent, we wondered how we could further develop this technology. After some consultation, we agreed that by taking 60 second snapshots and developing tools to allow the time-lapse playback of images, we could deliver a useful tool that would complement existing UTC traffic camera solutions. Now with the ability to install these displays anywhere and by adding an on-demand live stream capability, display camera technology has finally started to make sense to us. Whether it be AI-based clear-down, environmental monitoring or enforcement with 24-7 road network monitoring, you can really start to understand where your road network issues are. Optimising display templates and later departures. By ordering our departure information in a fresh new way on the Eclipse display, we realised we could consolidate repetitive high frequency services onto single prediction lines. This approach on a TFT display product declutters the display while ensuring that more rural services get the same airtime as premium routes. With regards to more traditional output, our TFT flag display can deliver six lines of 30 mm high characters and if you double stack the predictions as done by some of our customers you can have usefully long dynamic destination names. Having consulted with the Association for the Blind we quickly discovered that we could deliver an enhanced accessibility solution using TFT technology 
that would benefit more people than just those identified as visually impaired. While still using the React trigger solution as, des as designed, we further developed what we call focus cards. This is an innovation where we create a more simple view with much larger text that displays in time with the text to speech output. This helps people of multiple disabilities where both visual and auditory senses are affected. Something that we were unaware of was that people suffering from ADHD prefer a more simplified approach to display output. As a result of our consultations, we've been able to make simple changes to the display templates using TFT technology so that the display outputs work better for more people. I think it's very important to engage with your local accessibility associations when it comes to understanding requirements. Template designs can be relatively easily altered and we barely scratch the surface of accessibility as an industry. Display centric content management. Genesis was developed from the ground up to allow us to manage all of our innovations and maximize display outputs in a modern Siri data agnostic world. We could see that the industry was becoming consumed with buzzwords like CMS and suddenly had a desire to put fancy weather widgets and Twitter feeds on the real time displays, seemingly just because you could. In our opinion, these display products were already full of real time information. And so we developed our display centric content management software with the view that real-time information displays still need to show bus departure data as the primary function. Genesis is a full feature display management tool that covers all of the usual ground from Siri and display configuration all the way through fault management and messaging with the difference that the display is the primary investment item. The emphasis I would say with Genesis is that anyone with the correct access privileges can use it to plug in a Siri feed, set up a look ahead, assign a SIM card and have a single site or cluster site up to predictions in just a few minutes. Our approach remains the same when it comes to rich content. And so the media element of Genesis needed to complement the RTI data performance without obscuring it. To achieve the desired results, we developed a fully integrated synchronization system. So our displays flip to the media items at the same time, creating more impact, particularly when we have multiple displays on the same high street. You may have seen this effect um, on tubeway uh, escalators where all of the media items um, flip between content at the same time. To keep everyone happy, we paid careful attention to page timings. So wherever the media interrupts the predictions, we simply resume at the same point after the media item was played. Our innovations in content management far exceed this presentation and so please feel free to get in touch if you want more information or a demonstration. KPIs. One of the things we've seen um, in many a meeting is that KPIs can often hide issues. For example, classing 10% of stops visited as a 100% KPI looks good as a headline, but in reality, it's not so good. What we wanted to do is challenge ourselves on performance and by bringing in the actual month on month data consumption of the displays from our data providers API, we really for the first time were able to validate the level of performance we were actually achieving. By including this data, it now becomes really obvious when and where timetable changes occur by small fluctuations in the data usage, where larger data usage fluctuations can often expose data issues. Um, the added benefits of this a driving quality and system performance. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions or would like to find out any more information regarding M2M Tech and the products and services that we can offer you, then please talk to one of us or drop us an email at info at m2mtechlimited.com. We look forward to hearing from you in the future. For more information on the work of Artig, please visit our website rtig.org.uk Thank you.